Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of R&B Reviews. March 28th marked the anniversary of a very important event in the history of movies. March 28th marked the 100th anniversary of the release of the 1920s silent version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, starring the film and theater legend John Barrymore. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the film or even the short story by Robert Louis Stevenson, it tells the story of Dr. Henry Jekyll, who experiments through scientific means how to free the good side and the dark side of man by separating them. He concocts a potion, and then when he drinks it, he turns into the murderous being named Mr. Hyde. Now, this was not the first version of the classic story uh, told on film. The first film version, as a matter of fact, was made back in 1908, and there had been some different versions throughout the 1910s, but this version was the first one to intellectually explore the theme of good and evil in man, and not just have Jekyll turn into a monster, basically. More thought was put into it. Now, the film does a very excellent job at differentiating the two lead characters. For example, John Barrymore gives a very energetic performance, and he really brings out the personalities of these two characters. Barrymore conveys the proper gentleman behavior of Jekyll and the lustful, violent Mr. Hyde. In the famous transformation scene, Barrymore did it in one take and with very little makeup and simply distorted his face. I really liked how in silent movies the actors have to use facial expressions to get their point across. And there's two very effective scenes that demonstrate this. First of all, in the scene Jekyll visits his clinic, which he has started for the poor using his own funds. All the patients in the beginning of the scene look downtrodden, but when Jekyll arrives, everybody brightens up when he enters. Another is when Jekyll's fiancé's father takes him to a dance hall and gets a dancer to join them after her act. Jekyll begins to lust for her, but then he remembers that this is not proper and it's not right, so he leaves. I really like the personalities of the uh, characters of the movie. Now, this movie is the first one to have two women for each persona of Jekyll. That Actually, these two characters aren't even in the actual uh, short story. That We have what I call the good girl, which is normally a fiancé for Jekyll, and there's a bad girl for Mr. Hyde. In this case, it's the dance hall girl. In the later 1931 and 1941 versions with uh, Frederick March and Spencer Tracy, which I also have in my collection, the formula is repeated. In the 1931 version, Jekyll again has a fiancé, and Hyde has a girlfriend. Hyde's girlfriend is a prostitute. In 1941, again, Jekyll has a fiancé, and but Hyde's girlfriend is a barmaid. Jekyll's fiancé loves him and is, and is devoted to him, even though she feels like he spends too much time away from her. Her father feels that Jekyll spends too much time at his clinic and has not really been paying attention to his daughter, but he hasn't. Je he feels Jekyll has not even gone out and had fun and really lived his youthful life. Now, the film may lack the visual style of shadows um, that many later silent movies have, but the theme of bad habits overtaking a good life, a terrific performance by the cast, especially John Barrymore, and the great use of facial expressions make this a suspenseful horror film. Now, I feel the 1931 and 1941 later versions did a better job with symbolism and other explorations, but this version here with John Barrymore was the one that laid the foundation that you can take the short story and develop it to give it more depth, so I highly recommend it. All right, that's my review of the 1920 silent version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Feel free to leave your comments below if you have seen it. Uh, you know, tell me what you thought about it, you know. And thank you very much for watching. You can also check out some other movies that you can watch in the comforts of your own home. And I'm also currently doing a Q&A where I ask viewers and subscribers to, for questions. So you can feel free to leave me one as well. All right, thank you very much for watching.